Yo, welcome back to another content, guys. Before everything starts, um, I just want to say na sinisip ko ngayon or I really ha- I really feel bad right now. Uh, I don't know what you call it in English. Basta sinisip ko nao, guys. Um, hindi ako magkapagsalita na maayos, but I will try to to tell you about the one two two rotation as much as I can. Uh, in this game, kalaban namin yung naka 1-2-2 rotation and it really gave us a headache and we were defeated really badly and what else can, what else can I say kung di, di ang hirap talaga kalaban ng 1-2-2 right now guys. As you can see, the Gushon is back, the Marksman, the secondary carry and the two utility types na uh, ano, supports. It really is back guys, 1-2-2 is back. 1-2-2 beats 1-3-1 right now. Kasi given na uh, mas pinaaga yung mga buff. Sino mong mag-aakala na yun lang pala yung paraan para mapigil yung funnel strat guys. It is to nerf the buffs. Anyway guys, let's get to the game guys. Salamat nga pala sa may-ari ng page na to. Pinayagat yung pag-record ko. And, and guys. <clears throat> Kami yung chow dito guys. And, as you can see, Hilda ako. At first, akala namin guys, digi feeding strat to. Kaya, nag kami. And Hilda really is a great counter to the Digi Phoenix strat. And we were really surprised when we saw the carry pick. And that's where we thought, I guys, 1-2-2 to. Nakita namin guys yung Gushan and carry last pick. Uh, anyway guys, as you can see, nag-convert kami into a 1-2-2 rotation. When we really expected a 1-3-1. And we would be shutting down the enemy funnel at the jungle. <sighs> we really expected too much, guys. Anyway, uh, as you can see, guys, uh, standard rotation tayo, guys. We expect namin na kaya namin counter in um, one two two rotation by changing the strategy we know or we plan. And guys. So, ganyan na ulit sa, ano guys, sa offlane, 1v1 na ulit. Kita nyo, palag-palag naman kami sa early, guys. That's the, that's the no, weakness of the 1-2-2 rotation. Actually, 1-3-1 is a faster, faster pace of a game. And 1-2-2 is quite slower depending on the farming speed. Kasi sa 1-3-1 guys, focus yun sa isang hero. Ang 1-2-2, focus yun sa dalawang hero which is the primary core and the secondary core. When we talk about the primary core, that would be the mage or the assassin or the marksman mid. Sino yung mga hero na applicable sa primary core? That would be Gushon, as, as you can see in this game. Gushon, um... Sino pa ba? Selina. Selina would be quite good. Um, a Yisun Shin, a Brody. That would be great as well. And Benedetta siguro guys, gumagana pa rin kasi ang pinaka criteria lang ng ano guys, ng primary core would be non-buff dependent cores. Kasi there will be points na mapipilitang kayo mag-clash without buffs. As you can see dito guys, walang red buff yung Gushon, nag-clash kami. And it was quite late actually. And that is the, one of the reasons bakit mahirap na yung funnel strat guys. And nabigyan nga yung ano namin. Yung harit namin sa bottom. Anyway. Nakikita nyo yung lamang ng 1-2-2 rotation guys. That is the three heroes from bottom to bottom to the mid lane kinuha nila yung attention guys nalilito na ako at this point as a Hilda nalilito na ako kung magi stay ba ako sa bottom lane and 
shut down the bot bottom lane or the top lane in this game guys nalilito na ako kung mananatili ako doon para i-shut down yung carry pero yung mga kakampi ko guys na siya shut down din this is, was one of the most difficult parts of the game that would be the early phase kasi we really expected a 1-3-1 feeding diggy strat um, yan 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 yung isa sa pumilay sa amin sa early game and guys so and the bruno pick is actually great funnel pick right now pero given na uh, gushion to guys gushion is a natural counter to marksman kahit si kahit sino naman siguro tanungin mo alam na nila yan guys and gushion used to be one of the greatest meta heroes back in the late 1-2-2 rotation Naalala ko pa noon guys, gu pag meron na Granger, Gushon na yan. Pag may Bruno, Gushon na yan. Pag may Kari, Gushon na yan. Pamitas yan. Patay, pa pamatay ng ano yan, ng MM yan. Antay MM ang Gushon guys. That's why we really like the Gushon pick right now. Marksmen are coming back to the meta guys as shown to the next few updates. Moskov will be buffed. I don't know who on other else na MM na pwedeng ma-buff, di ko lang alam. Who knows, baka Granger in ma-buff and the pressure of the of a Granger in the past really was one of the best. And yung makikita mo sa mga dating pro player, Granger was a primary pick. And he can be played as a mid lane or a bottom lane or a gold lane. And guys, kita niyo guys, the difficulty of this game exceeds natural basis guys <laughs> napakahirap guys legit ano and di di nagkukulang sa ano hindi nagkukulang sa galing yung kalaban namin dito guys sobrang galing din nila kudos to them they were really a challenging opponent and we, we're up to we're up against them in the championships i hope we win actually medyo mahirap nga yung laban dito guys anyway Dito ay papakita ko lang naman yung game ng isang 1-2-2 rotation against sa 1-3-1 rotation. And as you can see guys, nag-gap na, na yung Bruno namin or baog na yung Bruno namin. And the reason for that is the Gushon's presence. Yan nga guys, yan yung sinasabi kong the benefits of a 1-3-1 rotation is there's a primary core and a secondary core. Pagka naka-snowball ang primary core, more space for the secondary core. And that gives more leeway para maka-shot, maka-secure ng game, guys. And given at this point, tabang-taba na yung carry, wala na kami magagawa. But accept the fact na hindi na rin namin kaya sa late game. And we had to just endure until the game actually ended. Who knows, baka mabaliktad namin... <laughs> We didn't really, ano, hindi na kami nag ng pag dito, guys, kasi it was really a give or take game. And, patalo na kami dito, guys. na expect na namin talo na gahanda na rin kami, guys, para, ano, para sa next game. Nagpa-plano na kami dyan, guys. Banyo digi, banyo digi. Banyo digi, kunin natin ko frao. Bigay nyo Johan, sige. Yan na, yan yung, yan yung nagpa-plano na kami guys. Basta. That's one of the perks of 1-2-2 rotation. There are two utility, utility types ng support or tank. Anything you may, you may call it. Basta utility type heroes guys. Pag sinabing utility type na heroes. Yan yung mga hero na kaya mag-initiate, mag-protect. Magrigen or anything like that. Actually, Johan is a isa sa pinakamalupit na initiator yan, guys. Isang magandang hagis can actually decide a whole game. And multiple more na hagis, guys, pwede decide na yung buong game mismo. And guys, for example yan, nag-overextend ako as a Hilda. Uh, nag nangingi yung mga kakampi ko ng ano, check bush or face check and nag face check nga ako in the end 
kayang-kaya ako in Burst of Gushon. That's why Gushon for me is one of the most OP mid lane heroes right now. And hopefully I see a lot more Gushons in the limelight in the future tournaments or future MPLs or whatever game you might find. I really want to see Gushon back in the, co in the meta. Kasi Gushon, isa yan sa favorite kong ano, core na kasama. Actually, to, to be honest, Kufra Gushon combination. Mm, that is one of the most delicious combination, guys. Kufra, no Kufra ako noon, guys, sa 1-2-2 rotation. Yan yung pinakagusto kong core na kasama. It's a Gushon. Kaya nga maganda yung connection namin dati ni Astre sa Gushon Kufra. And guys, kita nyo, the snowball, the snowball guys, it really is painful pero kailangan nyo tanggapin na um, lamang a 1-2-2 sa 1-3-1. The only way for a 1-3-1 to win against a 1-2-2 is win the early. Win the early in the mid game, do not actually fail in doing so. In case walang naniniwala sa akin sa isang 1-2-2 uh, sa mga sinasabi ko ngayon sa 1-2-2 rotation, you can always check the pro professional lives. Yung live ni Honda Beast, live ni Doggy. Pwede mo i-check yan, guys. Ako na nagsasabi sa inyo, this is one of the most most effective strategies right now. Most effective meta. Hopefully, may mga gagamit ng Gushon ngayon, guys. Actually, I'm hoping for a Lolita and Grok. Lolita and Grok back to the meta, guys. And, actually, Grok, 1-2-2 talaga yan, guys. 1-2-2 malakas si Grok. Kasi, sa, ano, para sa isang Grok, Marksman ang pinaka-target niya. Ngayon, ngayon available na yung Marksman sa lane, sa laning sa meta, Grok will be, hopefully be used a lot more usual. Kaya, spam graph ulit guys. Anyway, that would be the 1-2-2 two, two rotation guys. Tatapusin lang natin tong game na to napakahaba. Hindi natin tatapusin yung ipang game. Anyway, it will only be 12 minutes. Um, and, at this point guys, tanggap na namin na hindi na namin kaya tong game na to. And we really wanted to go for another round. Hopefully to make a lot a bigger com a bigger comeback a reverse sweep. Ano? Kita niyo guys, ang hirap magclash. Kasi dalawa yung core na tinitingnan namin. One is the carry, one is the Gushon. Yan guys, pinalagan namin yung Gushon on the other side and the other side naman. Carry is getting a free hit against our allies. Eh, na, na, ano pa, napag pa yung ano. Kita nyo? Nawala yung Gushon. Nawala yung Gushon in exchange for two of our, ano, members. And it really is a difficult part. And guys. The secondary carry carrying the game actually is a lot more difficult. And guys. So basically guys, 1-2-2 rotation is a lot more stronger than 1-3-1 rotation right now based on the newest patch where the, the buff is actually nerfed, the buff spawn. Kaya tatandaan nyo guys, try the 1-2-2 rotation kasi pinaka advisable rotation ganyan, ganyan. Anyway guys, that will be all for this content. Thank you for watching and hopefully makikita ko ulit kayo sa next content ko. Salamat!